morning folks, Nick Forster here, back out in the shop working on a couple things tonight. Um, since I tore down this uh, McCulloch, uh, uh, I believe it's like an 800 or 805 block. Um, it's honestly great shape, like I said in the last video, the cylinder walls look amazing. Uh, not one siding of plating failing or anything like that literally nothing just doing one last double check yeah looks perfect so what I decided on was y'all saw we had an issue with the decomp hole well what I decided side JB it. yes it looks like crap now um, I'm going to go back and clean it up get all the extra slag off of it didn't really have a great way to do it so uh I only, and like i said i only cleaned up the inside of it yeah she's already setting up nice good um it went all the way till it started coming out the decomp hole in the cylinder inside the cylinder then i pushed put, put my finger on it masked it just a little bit more uh wiped it down the spray clean. I wiped the cylinder a couple of times, make sure it didn't get in the cylinder. Um, and yeah, so it's plugged all the way to the inside of the cylinder. There you go. And if somebody, for whatever reason, wanted to put a decomp back in it, all I'd have to do is find center of this hole, which I left the outline of the hole, tap it or center punch it, drill straight through, should hit the cylinder. Then you can drill and tap the JV well but this thing has a Q port anyways I'm not going to worry about it it should be perfectly fine um, just went ahead and did new seals put a new seal right there all you do is uh, take a screwdriver and your seal side here's your bearing side take a screwdriver you can either Honestly, you can go from this side, get up underneath that lip, and it'll pop right out. This one, this is a national seal I put in it. You can see it's red. Got it flushed down in there. Flush as it needed to be. Um, and uh, to get the old one out, let's see, I think that's the old one. Yeah. Basically, all I do is get in between the lip and the crank with a screwdriver or whatever else and start prying up and eventually you'll get it to pry up enough to where it'll pop that outside lip. It'll pop it up just a little bit and then with a little more, more force it'll pop right out of there. So that's what I do. But the piston looks good. Probably clean off the top of it. Only issue I did see was that little bit of scoring right there. I took uh, some red scotch bright, which is about 80, 90 grit. I went over it, got 99% of it out. Um, about to clean out these ring lands. And then we're probably going to reuse the old uh, rings because I don't want to put a new set of rings in it. I think that might have been what happened with that other cylinder. As I put a new set of rings in it, the plating was thin and that extra pressure. Spring tension just uh, ate away at the plating. I think it either had a small chip in it or it was just that thin and that extra uh, tension to start eating at it. So I'm not going to throw a new set of rings in it. We're going to put the old rings back in it. It had compression before, so it had pressure, compression again. So I'm about to start doing. So that is, I'm going to clean out these ring lands. I usually take a small pick. You can pretty well get down in there. Or if you got an old set of rings, like I said, we're going to use the old set, so I can't do that. And I don't think I don't have any this thin, that thin. They're very, very, very thin. Make sure we got most of our crap out of there. Yeah, that little bit, the little score mark, look like it ate something. It's pretty well gone now. I think we should be okay. 
Okay, we're gonna run it pretty heavy on uh, pretty heavy on oil. Going to leave it rich, and uh, that's how we're gonna proceed with it. So I'm about to start cleaning up the cylinder and the piston. Sorry, sorry, and the base. Get them cleaned up, and we're gonna start slamming it back together. I'll bring y'all back when uh, we get a little bit further on. So, see y'all in a moment. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, just got the cylinder cleaned up, piston, uh, and the uh, cylinder base cleaned up. Now what I'm about to do is grab some Opti 2, put it on my piston, put it down in my cylinder, just a little bit, just so that, that way it don't have a dry start. And then, uh, then we're gonna get on to uh, slapping this bad boy together. Make sure we get enough on there. So we just, ain't gonna be a whole lot, just enough to lube her up a little bit. a little too much and not enough. So we'll put a little bit on a piston. Get nice and oily. And we'll clean off a finger, install the rings, and we'll start to uh, start getting to slapping this bad boy together. using some brake clean. Do it on my rag. I don't know about y'all, but I gotta throw a whole lot of brake clean playing with these things. I mean, a whole lot. A little bit cleaned up. One last little cover room. Boom, boom. Got plenty down in there. Go over to this, our base. For one last little clean. I'm pretty anal when it comes about making sure things are clean as far as trying to seal things up. Alright. Make sure my fingers. That's nice clean. That's pretty darn clean, I'd say. Grab another rag to wipe off. Yeah, I know, I gotta clean up the bench. When I get to going, I rarely slow down enough for me to start cleaning stuff up. Alright, so this here would be our bottom ring. Go ahead, find our pins. On this side, I'm pretty sure I'll have to be what be clean my finger after this, but that's okay. Ring is in there. There we go. Grab our top ring. There's our pin right there. These are some real thin old rings, so you gotta be careful. Don't wanna break them. Uh, they are not easy to get a hold of. There we go. Make sure you got it down near the pin. This one down by the pin. Good deal. Yep, we'll have to clean our fingers one more time. All right, now we are ready. So what I'm probably going to do is put it on the cylinder first, put our uh, piston down in it, and then we will uh, worry about our base. So go ahead and grab our moto seal. I got plenty of rags around, so. 
should be should be no issues. There we go. A little motor seal. Ready to throw it down here. Try not to get any in the cylinder. I don't usually use a whole whole lot on these because these things will shoot it out pretty good. Nice, fairly even coat on it. Ain't gotta be nothing crazy. Okay. There we go. A little dab right there. So we don't get any in our case. Not where we want it. my neighbor I have a grand old time over there him and his buddies like to hang out pretty late which ain't no issue I ain't got a problem with so I'm sorry if y'all can hear that on camera they're usually playing music just having a good old time they're just good old boys all right there we go now we got to do our rod assembly, which can be fun at times. At least that's, I do the rod assembly. So, grab a little, stand around here. I like to put it on that ring as well, that snap ring. Go ahead, spin her on around. Start at a thinnest spot. There we go. Getting thin again. Work that one on around. Luckily it ain't very humid tonight, so hoping this will go together fairly well. Come on. Where we meeting up at right there. Okay. There we go. Got a pretty good seal all the way around her. I gotta say. All right, let's go ahead, march around to our other side, and we're going to put this guy dead in the bottom. There's a little alignment dowel you got to do. I try to put it on the bottom. So we will start sealing on this guy. Get a little bit more on my finger. There we go. Enough to try to get around it. I usually get just a little bit on the crank. Ain't going to hurt nothing. Be perfectly honest with you. Rotate it down like that. Go ahead and grab this. This side. Oh yeah, she's already starting to get tacky with my finger, so I'm gonna have to be fairly snappy with this. Rotate her on the back. And there we go. Head all the way around it. Got good coverage. Alright. Now out hopefully without messing up none of your gadget material set this guy on down in here get it started off in here make sure you got that ring down in that groove like we do All right, we gotta pull this guy up a bit Get. Try to get this thing as centered as possible. Alright, let's do our base real quick. Hopefully, we can get this sucker before it dries off. So, throw a dab in there. Another dab. Go in there. I try to get that ring pretty good, pretty well. Do do. 
Some folks may think I'm absolutely crazy for all that I do on this. That's okay. I ain't never said I was sane. But you know how it goes. Go. Got that side pretty well greased up. Give it a little dab. Go ahead and start on this one. I always get this stuff all over me. I swear. It's like I it's like I've been painting in it all day. There we go. Touch more to this other side. Oh yeah, she's already drying up. You gotta go. All right, so we can get her set on all down on here, right? Biggest issue is trying to get this alignment down just so you can get it just right. There we go. Got it. Snap her on down in there. Should go fairly well. Be able to smushed all the way around I'd say you got pretty good sealer contact all right now comes the fun part of these guys which I just grab a little sealer throw it on around there try to get it all the way around may take you a dab or two there we go Drop it in a hole. It's easier with a pair of pliers. That's why I said I get this stuff all over me. All, all over me. There's one. Oh, that needs more. About out of gasket maker. Moment plenty. Go ahead and start it on the next one. Ain't gonna be a whole terribly lot. Go ahead and try to get all three of these done. Seal up our gasket. Gasket maker. Just touch more. Okay, there we go. Fingers off, everything. Grab the pliers. all of them. Put one there. Go ahead and try to put one right there. Next one. We'll go not there. But right there. Come on. This thing's biting me tonight. and I ain't running but on about four hours of sleep. 
I've been up since three this morning. It's probably midnight now. Get burning the midnight oil, as they say. All right. Now we gotta find our wrench. Wrench, wrench. Where'd it go? There you go. And start in a crisscross pattern. And we will, uh, then we'll throw in our short bolts. We get these down. Alright, that one's tight. Go back around. Tight. Go ahead and throw in our short bolts while we're here. There's one. Just want to get them started. That way we know they're lined up. There we go. Another one. Try to find my, my socket for it. I know it's right up here. There they are. The third one. Short guy. Our long guy goes way back there. There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and get them started. That guy's good. Rotate on down to this guy. Good. Good to at least start with. Alright, let's go back to these. We're gonna start on this one. Do it in a cross pattern. Quarter-inch drive is about wore out. Sit down. And core. Then I'll go back round. Double check. All nice and tight. That's good. That one's good. Alright. Yeah, I got it all over us so now. as I can off while it's wet. I ain't got to fight to get it off. Go around, go around the outside of it, clean it up. Then we can tighten down them other ones. We definitely have pretty good coverage there. Coverage all around there. Gonna get on the seal. finish tightening down these last few and we may throw a plug off in it and see what our compression feels like.
with that little bit of oil in the cylinder. Granted. Oh man. That gasket all over me. Alright, same thing. Crisscross pattern. Let's start with this one. And we won't go as tight on these because they just ain't nothing but little quarter inch. There we go. for this. Alright, this is the one we gotta set the socket down on because I ain't got my long skinny socket. This one tapers just a touch. There we go, hounds tight. Pop back cross. Do this one. Now just squeeze out just a touch more gasket material. No matter bolts will. They don't they won't do too much. There we go. That's good enough for the girls I go with. Good enough. So there we go. Be back together. See if I have that test plug still around. Got a broke off plug I use as a test plug. Set that guy up there. That was not my test plug. What did I do with that bugger? Alright, so many different saw parts and whatnot up here. Hard to tell what I got. Especially with all the uh what's it called I left up here. There it is. That's my test plug like I said it just broke. But fits alright. 19 millimeter right there. Oh, it's gonna be that 22, ain't it? I read it on setting my 22 off too. Do, do, do. It'll come back to me in a minute. It will come back to me. There it is. Instead of just grabbing and saying it was, I shouldn't have. Just think they'll make a liars out of me. Well, it's here somewhere. I said I just had it, but I've done gotten so tired now. Not sure what I deal with it, but it is here. I've done falling down. Tight. Oh yeah, that'll be enough. That'll that'll be enough to run. So we got good gasket material coming out of all our little sockets, or not little sockets, little uh, bolt holes. So it shouldn't have a leak with this. Uh, These new seals shouldn't have a leak there. There we go. Oh yeah. I may have taken both hands to turn it over. So it should should have enough to run, at least run pretty decent. Like I said I'm kind of leery on throwing uh, new rings on these now. But I truly believe that's what the issue was was the uh, was the ring. But there we go. It's back together. Just like that. 
shouldn't have any leaks through here. So that's good. Yeah, we shouldn't have no issue there. I think that's about where I'm going to call it tonight. I got to get some sleep. I got to get up at, got to leave the house at 4.30 in the morning, meet my other forester, and uh, we got to go mark out a sale for a client that wants it done by the 19th, and it's already the 13th, 14th, so it's due next Wednesday, and we got rain coming up, so I'm going to get off to bed. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you like what you saw and want to see more, hit that like button and that subscribe button, and uh, I will see y'all in the next one. Hope y'all have a great evening and a great rest of your week. Thanks, y'all.